Welcome to Math Fanatics. In this video, we'll be learning about integers. To learn what integers are, we need to start with the whole numbers. Let us recall what we basically know about whole numbers. Whole numbers are simply the numbers starting with a zero on the number line. So, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and continue all the way to infinity. This number line only shows the numbers specifically on the right of 0. But the truth is, the number line actually goes in both directions. So aside from the numbers we see on the right of the number line, starting with 0, we also have numbers on the left. These whole numbers on the right, which we knew as the counting numbers, are also referred to as positive numbers. On the left of 0 on the number line are these numbers. They are just like a mirror image of the numbers on the right. These numbers are referred to as negative numbers. Again, on the right are the positive numbers, while on the left are the negative numbers. Zero, which is found in the middle, is the one that separates the two sets of numbers. This entire set of numbers from 1, 2, 3, and so on up to infinity, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on, down to negative infinity, and the number zero, is what we call as integers. Integers that are greater than zero are called positive integers. They can be written with or without a positive sign. Integers that are less than zero are called negative integers. They must be written with a negative sign. On the other hand, zero is neither positive nor negative, meaning zero has no sign at all. Furthermore, the set of positive and negative integers may also be called as signed numbers. To better understand integers, let us apply them in the real world. Let's take a look at this example. Going up and down a building may be related to integers. Let's see how it is done. The ground floor represents zero, while well, the upper floors represent the positive integers and the lower floors represent the negative integers. So, if the man goes four floors up the building, then it may be represented by positive four or four. But, if he goes two floors down the building, then it is negative two that best represents his action. To identify which integer best suits a given situation, we have to look for the keywords to give clues on what integers to apply. Looking back at our examples, the keywords that were used are the words up and down. So when you encounter the word up or any other words related to it, it means that the integer is positive. That's why 4 floors up means positive 4. And when you encounter the word down or any other words related to it, it means that the integer is negative. That's why 2 floors down means negative 2. Now let's practice what you have learned about integers. Identify the integers that best represent the following situations. In the first situation, which is 10 feet above the ground, we see that the word that was used is above. Above means positive, so the integer is positive 10. Next, decrease of 7 points. The word decrease means negative, so the answer is negative 7. In our third situation, which is 15 degrees below 0 degrees Celsius, the word below indicates that our integer is negative. So the answer is negative 15. 
earned 45 points in the game. What is the keyword here? Correct, it is earned. And this tells us that the integer is positive. So the answer is positive 45. Good job, students! Now let's make a recap of what you've learned today. Integers consist of all positive whole numbers, all negative whole numbers, and zero. Integers that are greater than zero are called positive integers. They can be written with or without a positive sign. Integers that are less than zero are called negative integers. They must be written with a negative sign. Integers can be used to represent or describe real-life situations involving temperature, profit or loss, time before and after, elevation of land, and many more. That's all for Introduction to Integers. Hope you've learned a lot from this video. Kindly share with your friends. Hit the bell icon to keep you updated. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Math Fanatics.